Good evening, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the next session of reInvent. My name is John Allen. I am the Director of Professional Services for our automotive industry, and it's exciting to have you all here today as we talk about how we are transforming the auto industry uh, with the industrial cloud with both AWS and Volkswagen AG. It's an honor to, uh, to have Nihar Patel with us here today. Nihar is the Executive Vice President for New Business Development. Uh, he has been with us since the beginning of the journey between AWS and VW, Volkswagen, as we've been building the digital production platform, and he's our executive uh, over the IC industrial cloud from VW. And so today, Nihar is going to first kick us off and talk a little bit about Volkswagen. And for those who don't understand the scope and scale and the size of Volkswagen, talk about Volkswagen as a company, and then shift over really about what the industrial cloud is about and the community value proposition. Why organizations, why VW has, uh, has, has been able to sponsor this, why AWS is involved, and really what, what's the value of the industrial cloud. He'll uh, pass it back to me. We'll all talk about some use cases and how we're building the industrial cloud, as well as the concept of the industrial cloud marketplace. And then finally share how you can join the industrial cloud as a contributor or a consumer as we move into 2021. So Nihar, thanks for joining us. Over to you. Thanks, John. Really appreciate that. And thank you to AWS for having Volkswagen once again at reInvent to talk about our strategic initiative, which is to bring production and logistics into the digital age. But before we go into this topic that we call the industrial cloud, I would like to tell the audience a little bit about Volkswagen. The Volkswagen Group is a combination of many brands. For example, VW, Audi, Seat, Skoda, and many others. And we do business globally and have over 120 manufacturing plants worldwide that helped us last year build and sell over 11 million units. And we also depend on over 670,000 employees to help us achieve the results. It is exactly because of the scale of Volkswagen that we envisioned what a digital journey could or should look like for ourselves. And I hope to share some of these insights of this journey with you over the next few minutes. So for us, this is a very long-term approach. As this slide shows, we believe that the journey really starts within VW, where we digitize our production footprint. And this is a journey that we actually started about 18 months ago, as John mentioned. Our plan is to activate our digital production platform, which we call the DPP, across all of our brands globally. This will not only improve, we believe, the efficiency of our plants, but also help inject a new way of working. Now, as you can imagine, VW, as many years as it has been in business, has many old plants and many new plants with old and new equipment. Therefore, we know that we probably have fragmented IT infrastructure across all of our plants. Now, with the DPP, VW is laying the groundwork and the foundation for a seamless digitization of these production systems, where we can combine all of our data from machines, plants, systems, and all of our other production facilities in one single location for the whole group. We believe that these will create new prospects for optimization of all of our processes, not only in our production systems, but also will considerably improve the productivity within all of our plants. Now, interestingly, as we were working on the DPP with AWS, we realized that the vision could actually be even bigger. Our next engagement point is to digitize our supply chain and logistics in exactly the similar fashion. And as you can imagine, VW connects with several thousands of suppliers collectively uh, on a daily basis. And we believe that together, we can create some use cases that will generate efficiencies in, across the whole supply chain and logistics systems. And based on this active learning, we believe that there's also a role that we can play by offering these solutions that we develop to other industrial players. We have also of course, recognize that most manufacturing companies, if not all, have some of the same similar challenges that we face. So how do we envision doing this? Now, if, it's, if you can imagine, here's where we got a bit bolder. 
Now, as this slide says, we call our vision the industrial cloud. And the industrial cloud actually is built on three very critical pillars. The first is the platform. As you can imagine, this is the technical basis for everything that we're going to be doing. And the general platform will be built off of the digital production platform or the, or the DPP. The second very important pillar is the community, which is on the bottom left-hand side. And to us, this is a set of contributors and consumers who will both create and absorb the industrial solutions. Now, we have identified several archetypes of community members, such as tier one through N suppliers, systems integrators, line builders, and many more. And for us, the community is extremely crucial because to get the maximum out of the industrial cloud, we believe that AWS and VW can't do it alone. We really need the partners who want to come together with us on this journey. And last but not least, there's the marketplace. And this is the place where the magic, if I could say, really starts happening. This is an open environment that fosters transactions that will bring production, supply chain management, we think, into the digital age. So some of you may ask in the audience, why now? What's this mean for you? Well, we think that there are at least four key reasons why this really makes sense now, because this enables us to pursue improvements in operational excellence. The democratization and use of cloud really accelerates the development process. The open marketplace that I just very rapidly described will help manage data and exchange and software, thereby facilitating the ability to have more data-driven business models. Now, of course, like most platform businesses, growth really occurs when you have a creative flywheel effect. By definition, a flywheel is a heavy wheel that's used in a machine to increase both the momentum and other activities. Therefore, you can provide greater stability to a, let's call it a machine. Given its weight, this flywheel really is difficult to push at standstill. But once it starts moving and gradually builds momentum, which eventually allows us to turn the wheel on its own, thereby creating the own momentum that's required to create a self-enforcing loop. Now, that's an interesting definition. So what does it really mean for business? This flywheel effect, we believe, represents the single tangible way to generate traffic to the platform. By having an optimum number of contributors and consumers, this flywheel will drive the additional, uh, excuse me, the addition of industrial solutions, thereby increasing the stickiness, as we call it, to the platform. This creates more engagement by the community. And in the end, this flywheel creates the growth that enables both innovation speed and innovation power. Now, of course, this is a lot easier said than done, as I'm sure most of you have experienced. So we have to be extremely ruthless in the value that we believe we need to provide to the community. And by working backwards from the contributor and the consumer point of view, we have developed, we believe, propositions that are actually driving our joint teams, which I'd like to show you on the next slide. Now, please humor me as I read these words to you, because we believe they're very powerful. And as I mentioned earlier, this really drives our teams, both the technical and the business side. So from a consumer standpoint, we believe that we must have the most comprehensive collection of proven industrial IoT, IIoT solutions that drive insight for data and solutions that empower the automotive manufacturing and supply chain community to transform operations and boost efficiency gains. And similarly, on the mirror image on the contributor side, the contributor is looking for the most attractive platform to create, market, and scale the IoT solutions that they're able to create for business. Now, that's an interesting PowerPoint slide, but for us, it's working. We officially launched our community on July 23rd of this year. Our joint team of AWS, Siemens, and Volkswagen are proud to say that we already have 13 partners who have joined us to bring the industrial cloud to life. 
And we continue to engage many more already who want to help us identify jointly a value proposition that will allow them to make the decision to join us on the IC community. And as I mentioned, this is our key lever to helping us drive the flywheel effect. And we have already started working with these partners in the first step to connect them and their solutions to the VW plants where they can actually scale their solutions in one of the biggest production networks of the world. Now, at this time, let me take a pause and turn the speaking portion over to John, who will walk you through the rest of the content that he described earlier. Thank you for your attention. Thanks so much, Nihar, for that great overview. Uh, really exciting to see where we're transforming uh, manufacturing in the future of really moving uh, manufacturing and supply chain to the digital age. So I'm going to talk a little bit about how easy it is to contribute to the platform itself with use cases. And there's a few ways that we're currently using our uh, digital production digital production platform flywheel and the concept that, talk, that Nihar talked about with the flywheel into building use cases into the IC. So first of all, what's special about this program is that the same team, the same service team that has brought you IoT SiteWise, Greengrass, and Outpost are part of this core team to build the digital production platform. And together with VW, we are creating new services that we can potentially introduce into the industrial cloud, into our larger community base, really trying to solve their biggest challenges around really edge and IoT challenges in the manufacturing world. So our service team sits with VW inside of uh, Berlin and build together. The second part is, as Nihar talked about with, with, with Siemens, and our large team of partners in ISVs that are coming together and building use cases inside of VW today to prove them. In the long term, we'll take those use cases, actually in the shorter term, we'll take those use cases and introduce it into the industrial cloud. But we're testing them first inside of the Volkswagen environment in their manufacturing environment. The other part that we're doing is with our professional services team, along with AWS, is together we're building use cases across the manufacturing environment. Sometimes AWS does it, sometimes VW does it alone, and sometimes we're together as joint pizza teams. But together we're using that flywheel that Nihar spoke about to really er learn about uh, best practices and how to use our services and how to really extend out to, uh, to really transform across VW's factories worldwide. Every time we do this, we find new critical value opportunities. We have new learnings. We find out new things and new potential use cases that we never knew before when we started the process. And that's what's special about this program is using Amazon's me innovation mechanisms together as a team to really transform Volkswagen Group internally. And all those lessons come right to the industrial cloud. And then last, there are other services that we don't even know about yet, but we're going to design and launch and build here inside the industrial cloud and with the digital production platform. This is only just the beginning of how we can transform the future of manufacturing. So Nihar spoke about the magic, and the magic is the industrial cloud marketplace. And our vision for the industrial cloud marketplace is to help customers search for industrial software and business services and components from hundreds of sellers and provide early access to leading edge Internet of Things software solutions that are easy to find, buy, deploy, test and deploy. With just a few clicks inside the industrial cloud marketplace, customers can download industry solutions that can be integrated into the manufacturing and supp supply chain environments quickly rather than taking months and long development times and heavy lifting by companies, they can do it inside of weeks and even hours with some of our solutions to get them in their environment, test it, and eventually launch. It's exciting as we're doing this because we see the IC really focused on consumers and contributors, both from industrial manufacturers, logistics providers, uh, other OEMs coming together to be able to build these use cases and introduce these concepts into the industrial cloud marketplace. So how do you get involved? So uh, please go to this website, which is our industrial cloud hub. We have more information about the industrial cloud on the hub, as well as the list of partners that, uh, that Nihar mentioned before. And there's a way to contact the team. We're gonna continue to update 
this site with use cases and really discuss the, the business value of the industrial cloud. And please use the links inside the uh, industrial cloud hub to reach to the core team should you want to find out more information and be interested in joining our industrial cloud journey. Thank you for the time today. It's been a great honor to be uh, on stage virtually here with Nihar. I uh, wish we could be in person with you at, in Las Vegas, but it's great to be able to join you uh, in your office today and share the journey about the industrial cloud. We would encourage you to check out other sessions that are happening uh, throughout reInvent. Uh, so there are a few sessions related to the digital production platform and the transformation that Volkswagen is moving through. One is uh, building a connected factory with VW, and that's ZCW208, as well as uh, one on SAP smart man manufacturing inside VW's digital production platform, and that's ENT311. So uh, we'd encourage you, please uh, go look inside the catalog see those as well as other IoT sessions that might be, uh, might be of interest to you. But again, thank you for uh, spending the time with us today. As you can tell, we're excited about the future of the industrial cloud and we hope to see you in 2021 as a member of the IC. Thank you.